Yo, what is going on, y'all? Today I'm back here with a brand new tutorial, or aka slash welcome to the channel if you're new or not. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna make some little tech samples today. I think I'm gonna go ahead and open up uh, this Roland VST right here. Uh, let me see where I can find it. I think it's this one. If my FL Studio doesn't crash, I think it's gonna crash. Oh, it didn't. Okay, for sure. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. switch out the sound so I can hear it better all right I'm gonna go ahead all right I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick little EQ um nothing too major oh and the reason why I put the natural phase is because um for some reason I was reading somewhere that that if you put zero latency that technically that the lows are still bleeding out even though you cut them so they recommend to put it on um natural phase so it prevents the load from leaking out that's what i heard so so far it's true amen amen take two copy it over but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top melody out and leave the chords so for a shortcut guys we're gonna extend these notes right here we're gonna hit all a and hit all l and we're gonna press accept. It extended all the notes for us, except for these. So we'll hit it again. And boom, there we go. Let me see how this sounds like. All right guys, I have an idea. I usually always do this in my melody, so you would just take half of the, um, the other part of the melody, duplicate it with um, Control B, and raise it up another octave. So it has energy, and it also gives the producer more of like a uh, selection within the loop. this an octave down There it is. That's how you guys make samples for Loteca. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, guys. Hope you're all having a good one, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.